Hey, welcome back to the channel, man. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button right now. Like this video, comment down below if you're rocking with Young Dolph, man. Let's go. Yo, Gotti looking for a new artist right now because Black Youngster got into it with uh, Big Jook. And if you don't already know, Big Jook is the main hitter for Yo Gotti. He's actually his blood brother. And y'all got to understand, man, Yo Gotti's dad was telling him that to quit all that stuff, but... Black Youngster went too far when he came on his porch and he told him that, hey, he's looking for Big Jook to come out the basement and he never came out, man. And then next thing you know, he go on and say all this stuff about Big Jook and that's when Yo Gotti call his phone and tell him he needs to stop with that or else it's over for him and CMG, man. One thing y'all gotta realize is that these guys are still feuding with each other because it's a lot of karma coming back from the whole situation at Makita's and all the beef they did with the 100 shots and uh, and everything that had happened from the whole years going on, man. This whole thing is really just a revolving door, man. And these guys, hey, they knocking the chessboard over because they're fumbling everything, getting into arguments with each other. And now Black Youngster is at risk from getting released. And now he has to go find a new label to sign with. And you never know. And right now, it's not looking good for Moneybag Yo because he's actually feuding with Finesse two times till this day. Like, they have two options. It's either to give back all the money from the Finesse two times songs or they're going to have to drop Moneybag Yo from CMG and Black Youngster at the same time. And they're not prepared for anything like that. And this is something that we all need to really open our eyes to and really recognize. Because if we recognize everything that's going on, Big Jip, he's Yo Gotti's brother. Black Youngster is the artist. You got to understand the severity of it. Yo Gotti is going to take his brother's side regardless of what goes on. And Moneybag Yo don't know whose side to take. That's why I tell y'all, stop taking sides, man. R.P. Dolph, man. R.P. Dolph, man. Before y'all do anything, drop them dolphins in the comment section, man. Throw the PREs down in the comment section and subscribe to the channel, man. This is something that we really... We tired of seeing this. At the end of the day, we really know for a fact that Black Youngster, he was the main person who threw... Why would you even swing on somebody who you signed to label brother? Like, you really got to pay attention to that. And this is something that Black Youngster, he going to regret this at the end. Because if y'all really look at it, the way that they did Dolph, Big Jip going to do that to Black Youngster. If he keep playing, y'all got to understand if Yo Gotti drop Black Youngster from the label just by getting into it with his brother, it's, hey, everything going to break loose after that. Y'all really going to pay attention and really be able to see Yo Gotti come out and really say what's really going on. And you will really look at the fact that this is something that could be easily avoided because if you don't easily avoid it, you'll see that it'll be a revolving door and you really wouldn't you really wouldn't know which way to go with this situation because of what happened to Dolph. And you see Makita Raven, she literally took everything that she was selling up in there and she literally took it off the shelf. Why did she take it off the shelf? For one reason, because the Rico and Diamond started. Exactly. And the fact that Black Youngster even went and parked on their street and came up, used the magnifying glass to look through their peephole. He was looking for Big Jook that day. And so whatever was going to happen was going to be on his hands, man. They had the ring doorbell watching him the whole time and talking him through the intercom and told him to leave. And he said, no, he wanted the smoke. And that's why when Big Jug didn't come out, Yo Gotti had to be called to remove him and everything like that. The trucks pulled up and look, guys, man, I just want you to drop the like right now, man, and put the RIPs and the uh, Dolph chats emojis in the uh, chat right now. So what y'all need to do is open your eyes and look at the fact that Big Jook has had it with Black Youngster. He telling Yo Gotti right now that he needs to get rid of him and let him walk, man. Because every time he come and pull up, it's always going to end in the same result. The fact that they be getting into it way too much, man. And the last time they was in the studio, they done knocked over the whole cup and spilled it on the, the board. And it's fried the system and everything. Lost a lot of stuff. Time recovered. 
and they opened up the box and tried to clean it up. But that's when Black Youngster was trying to tell Big Jug to clean it up. And it was Black Youngster's fault for knocking the cup over. So they got into it, wanted to go. And um, they, he took his shirt off and went to fight him in the parking lot. But when he swung, Big Juke caught his hand and pushed him over. But when Yo Gotti swung the back exit door open, they both stopped and straightened up because he would have fired him right there. And Yo Gotti said, hey, quit playing. Get back inside. Y'all finish work. And so basically Big Juke is just there for security because he, like I said, he's Yo Gotti brother and he has to always do all the dirty work for him. And that's the reason why he was messing with the uh, Makita's girl and, and everybody liked them. And that one dude that they have, 901, whatever. Exactly. And so the fact that everything is just a revolving door in this situation and the people are all connected. Man, I need you guys to like this video right now, man, because look, the yeah, man, this really goes to show that everything that went on, everything that transpired led to one thing. It led to Dolph being sent up. This is something that we all know that could have been easily avoided if the people weren't around them so, so greedy. And then if you really pay attention to it, this is something that we all know. We know for a fact, man. We're going to send them condolences out to Young Dog family, man. First of all, man. Because if you really pay attention to it, Young Dolph literally made it to where they had ideas. like, And you know, Yo Gotti, he didn't like the fact that, yo, that Young Dolph even tried to get up out of there on him. Once he tried to get up out of there on him, man, it was over with from that, man. Because it's like Yo Gotti set a little foundation. That's why... Yo Gotti has tasks with Daddy O through PRE because they knew that Yo Gotti was going to be mad when they started PRE. All Dolph did, and this is coming from the sources in Memphis, he got close to Gotti. He got all the information about the look, how to start the, you feel me, the record label company PRE. And then next thing you know, he started with Daddy Yo instead of Yo Gotti. Then Money Bad Yo came into play. Then Black Youngster came into play. Hey, y'all already know what went on after that. Y'all know what transpired. And this is something that we all need to really look at and take heed to because y'all know the answer to that. Exactly. And everything is crazy because when you look into how deep it goes and the reason why... Yo Gotti was told to send the hit and everything, and Big Juke had no choice but to put the pieces together. And that's why when you look at the fact that Black Youngster was walking and he got seen by three people, and they still got to go talk to everybody that was at the scene one by one to make sure that they tell the same story again. And the fact that the stories are changing and everything like that is looking more and more like... They're going to have just a little bit to get Black Youngster to actually come out and say whether he did anything or not. And that's why he's ducking. And y'all got to just look at how everything coming from this is making Big Jook and Black Youngster rub heads and bump, bump heads because they not agreeing on it. And Yo Gotti's trying to tell him to work it out, but it's actually spilling over into Yo Gotti and got to come and handle it. Now he's taking time and is making CMG almost like get to a point where they're crumbling. The assistants is looking at him crazy because every time they come with the cup of coffee, Yo Gotti and Big Juke are mad and they slap the coffee from the assistant hands and she getting ready to quit because they not treating her because they angry and black youngster don't make it no better. And what y'all got to understand is that basically... Everybody, the cameraman, it, he even telling Black Youngster to like stand here and everything. And he yelling at him because he knows he only got like three or four videos left before the contract ends. And when he signed that contract, he forgot about the fact that he shouldn't have been beefing with Yo Gotti's brother when his contract was coming to an end because who's he going to sign with now? And Yo Gotti's going to make sure to make everybody know that. This is off limits because it was CMG that's going to keep getting the revenue from everything that he did from there. And so 
it's all crumbling because they all crisscrossed and these people is all connected. And what y'all got to understand is that it's still a small location. Like Memphis is super small, but shout out to Memphis and really rocking with Dolph. And so what I want to say is that hit that like button and make sure you just go ahead and look into the facts that everything is going to come to light. And everybody's going to be able to see exactly what's really going on. And y'all got to just hey, stay hip to everything about how this all works together and put two and two together for you guys to actually figure it out for yourselves and comment down below exactly what you think, why everyone is still agitated, like the karma is coming back on them. And that's why they all act in this way. So... If you look at one thing, this is something that we all need to take heed to because if we don't take heed to it, think like it it'd be nothing that happened behind this. Like y'all gotta understand, I'm not trying to make nobody think for nobody. I can't make a person think for themselves. Like you gotta really understand the fact that everything that happened with Makita's and Young Dolph led back to. Yo Gotti, money bag, yo, big jug, daddy yo, black youngster. Y'all gotta pay attention to that, man. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And make sure you like the video and come back for another one because it's gonna be big breaking news on the next video. I'm gonna catch you there.